I'm Miss Brand from the Smithtown Library, and today I'm going to be showing you Keep Calm and Relax On. You should have picked up your kit from the Smithtown building, and inside you'll find the supplies for a couple of different crafts we're going to be doing together. For each craft, you may need a couple of supplies that you can find around the house. Let's get started. So the first craft we're going to make is a stress ball. So from your kit, you're going to need your two balloons and your bag of rice, and then from around the house, you're going to need a funnel, a pair of scissors, and you may also need a pen or a pencil. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of your balloons and you're going to attach it to the end of your funnel. So you wanna make sure you get it on there nice and secure, just like that. And then you're going to take your bag of rice, you can open that up, and you're gonna carefully pour your rice into your balloon. So this is actually where your pencil might come in handy because you're going to need that to help tamp down the rice into your balloon. So once you're done getting all of the rice into your balloon, you're gonna tie it off into a knot. So once you've filled your balloon with rice and tied it off, you're going to want to trim your knot. So that's just this little extra piece here. So I'm just going to carefully cut off that little bit of tail from my knot. Then I'm going to take my second balloon and I'm going to want to cut off the neck of the balloon. So that's this long skinny part here. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right across there. And the reason why we have two balloons is so that I can cover the knot of this balloon. So I'm going to take my second balloon and I'm going to stretch it over my first so that I can seal it. And there I have my stress ball. So our second craft is going to be making a Zen garden. So the supplies that you have is a small metal tin, a bag of sand, a couple of rocks, and a wooden rake. So for your Zen garden, I would definitely encourage you to grab some paint from home or some scrapbook paper or paper and create a fun design on your tin um, on the top and bottom just to give it a personalized touch. So the way you're going to create your Zen garden is once you've decorated your tin or not, however you'd like, you can take your sand and pour that into your tin, give it a little shake to level off the sand, and then you can add your rocks on top. The rake is for creating different designs in the sand. So there's really no right or wrong way to create a Zen garden. The idea of it is that in the raking of the sand, in the creation of designs, you're sort of getting out of your head and focusing on something else besides maybe final exams that are going on. So this is just a nice meditative practice to get you out of your head and relax for a little bit before you go back to studying. Last but not least, I've included a couple of coloring sheets along with your other activities to help you relax and unwind during the hectic final exam season. Thank you so much for joining me today. We hope to see you soon, but until then, check out the library's website at www.smithlib.org for more programs and resources.